Okay, it's dessert time, folks, here at Mario's Kitchen. And, you know, uh, it's called English Trifle. You've heard of it before. Some people say, well, don't you mean truffle? Well, kind of, but trifle, you know, comes from the, uh, the French word truffle. And it means um, something that has no consequence or something that's just done happenstance without thought. And, you know, in, it insinuates that this dessert was wrapped together real quick, but it really is a dessert of royalty. And we'll get started because we've only got a few minutes on this mini episode. We're going to use um, pound cake as part of that trifle, trifle process. Nice, nice thick pound cake. I got this. You can, you can cook your own pound cake, obviously, or, or angel food cake. In this case, I've got a, a nice store-bought one for like $3. Wow, it's a, it saves you a lot of time. And, you know, what we've done before is we're making a berry, the trifecta menagerie of berries here, um, and that is uh, raspberry, blackberry, strawberry. We're going to get those berries, depit them, and, and take the stems off, and we're going to add um, a liquor to it. Traditionally, we're going to use a sherry. In this case, you can use a brandy. I chose blackberry brandy. I've reduced them a bit on the stove. I brought them down, reduced the liquor off them, but it has that hint, that bite of liquor in it uh, that's going to... It's going to make these, um, these cakes taste really awesome. Okay, you, you might want to get one of these uh, trusty cutting, cutting kits here. They really work well for the cake, unless you're just, you've got a great steady hand and you, you know how to do it. You want to fit up your, uh, your, cake, your cake cutting um, tools to the size of your dish. In this case, we're using a, a really, this is one that a husband and wife could share at a, after dinner and kind of you know, eat out of it because it's, it's just a large uh, type parfait dish. So we've got a couple of these cakes we're going to cut down real quick. You can save those other pieces right there. They're, they're kind of good for filling in the, the, the dry spots if you have some caverns or something you want to fill in. You know, in this case I've got, I think three should be enough with the layers. Maybe I'll just move these out of the way for a second. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to you want to add a little bit of the blueberries. We've got the berry mixture. We've got we've got custard, which is very traditional in the uh, in the in the British culture. Um, heavy cream. That's for the whipped cream application. Mint. I've got vanilla and uh, confection sugar. First things first. A little bit of the berry in the bottom. Give it a berry base, and then we're going to put that cake in there. If you want to. They say for you to sort of soak, soak your um, your cakes in the in the liquor. I like that, but they fall apart, and, and if you soak them too long, so I just drizzle them. All right. Now we're going to put more of the more of the berry. Um, I'll call it the berry slurry, if you will. Right there. We're going to put a layer of custard on top. You want to sort of potter's wheel it. Bring it around. Give that sand art effect. Remember when you used to go to the seashore and see and do the sand art thing on the beach, on the boardwalk? All right. In this case, we're going to do another, another layer of cake. Press it real nice. Okay. Another layer of the berries. Bring that around. No more custard in effect right now because I could have cut my uh, the diameter of my cakes a little thinner, maybe got more berry layers in it, but this will suffice. Again, if you want to soak more of those those cakes with the liquor uh, or the brandy in this in this situation. Um, you're good to go. Now we have a topping, which consists of a whipped cream. In this case, we're going to do one cup. We're going to do one cup of heavy whipping cream. Heaping tablespoon of confection sugar, a little on the sweet side, 
teaspoon Baker style vanilla extract. Got the old trusty whipping jigger. Okay, folks, we just got to the breaking point. This goes back Queen Elizabeth, Victorian era, 1600s. We're going to put that heavy whipping cream on top. Very decadent dessert. It's definitely more than enough for one person. Going to garnish some real pretty mint. What you want to do is sink your mint first. Cradle it with a berry. There you have it, folks. Beautiful English trifle. Definitely for a serious dessert lover. That's a lot of calories there. I know that, folks, but just in case you want to indulge and you don't want to be as decadent, you can go for the mini version right there or the kid size and you won't feel as guilty, but I'm really glad to bring this dessert to you. The English trifle, uh, something that'll wow any kind of entertainment venue you've got. Real easy to make, we just made that in five minutes, folks. I'm glad you shop with us here at the Newburgh Deli. Thanks for looking at our episodes, and if you like more about our recipes or our up and coming shows, please visit us at Newburgh, N-E-W-B-U-R-G, deli.com, and click on TV shows, and you can get all of our archives of our existing shows and previous shows channels and what have you. Look forward to seeing you at the deli. Thanks. God bless. Have a great day.